Well, we got another package. All right, let's check it out. Oh, good doggy. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have something from Midway USA. Feel free to check them out. They have a large variety of items. Midway USA. So let's go ahead and get you out of the way. Thank you. Let's see how we can get this open. This should be the bottom of the box. So, yeah, it's actually glued. Interesting. I suspect this box is recycled from some other item, which is fine. It has a very secure bottom. Alright, let's empty everything out. And see what we got. Right, some paper snakes. And I don't see a manifest. So let's go ahead and go with. This you can see it actually has the original check label it is a military surplus check desert camo Molly pouch with map case grade two. So let's see if we get the lighting a little better here. And it's in the original check zipper. I don't know, for grade two, it looks like grade new to me. So they might have just had to list that for whatever reason. And has a map case on the inside. So that looks like it's never been used. Let's see how large it is folds out to so fold that back up real quick you can see in here loops for pens and calipers whatever measuring instruments you need here's a label on the top there you can see that and the loop loop and latch mechanism Molly hook and latch, multiple loops on the back, plus loops for older style web gear. And this can be tucked right back into here. And not only that, looks like they included another map case. And you can also see here the Sturm label made in Czech Republic. Wow. So two map cases. Very cool. So check desert camo Molly pouch with map case. Sis plural. Next up, let's go for real simple. This one should be military surplus. French trouser belt grade one khaki extra large confirmed there khaki quite long and green fittings magnet test steel 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 Okay, so, military surplus French trouser belt grade one, khaki extra large. That right there. Next up, German black rubber goggles grade two. Okay. They come in 
the paper wrapping as well. Let's see if we can gently get that out of there. It's like a little bit of tape. We're going to break the tape here. So definitely black rubber, rubber strap, see marking there, as well as some numbers, you see that, sizing holes, Get the paper out of the way, and very, cl very clean lenses, a little bit of marks in the centers, probably from storage. A little bit of abrasion, but very nice and bug-eyed, so you two can look like a minion. So, uh, German black rubber goggles, grade two. And here, you even got a cancer warning. Very nice. All right, next up, um, skipping around here. On my notes. This should be an East German UTV combat belt grade one olive grab. Very cool. So you can see those types of loops in which the similarly the if I cheat with this here. These types of things typically can be placed inside of these very tight loops, depending on the country of origin. Once you match them up, they'll have a very uh, close size match. So you can see here this style of belt closure, like so. Retention loops. Uh, these as well can hook into here once you've found the appropriate size on both sides and then you can suspend your gear from the belt as well so East German UTV combat belt grade one olive drab uh, next up should have two of these let me grab the other one right here already you can see a slight difference uh, British Grenade Pouch Grade 2 Desert Camo. Even the, these, all, these tags have date stamps when they were inventoried. And so you can see these are from different time periods or manufacturers because of the different loop colorings and web colorings. As well, slightly different shades in the brown patterns as well, so you can actually tailor these a little bit tighter to your environment, depending on season or ground cover coloration. Label-wise, let's take a quick look. Pull out the molly there. Pouch AP Grenade Desert DPM 2007 versus this one. Snaps are actually snapped on there. You can see the snap markings. Uh, these ones similarly. And this one is labeled. Get the molly straps out of the way. Pouch AP Grenade. But uh, the NSN number is in a different spot, different DC number, and doesn't say anything about the uh, DPM pattern. So, two different variations of the Desert DPM AP grenade pouches. British. Last but not least, we have a taped up bag here. Let's see if I can go ahead and cut this loop.
according to the label, military surplus Czech M85 unlined parka, olive drab, grade 2, extra large. So you can see, nice size there. Long sleeves, of course, two top pockets, two buttons each. No bellowing. Two diagonal slash pockets with hems. Eh, about hand deep. Let me see where this line is for the border. There. Draw strings on the hem. Let's see how we get this. Got a brass metal zipper. Which way does this come out? That way. Okay, so we can seal the retention loop 1991, cross swords. Another label. Care and sizing. I don't know if you can see that. Hang loops, buttons at the top for hood attachment, a couple more cross button loops, more buttons inside a zipper, more button holes for attaching a liner, and here's the loops to keep the pockets from flopping around. Uh, drawstring at the mid back area on both sides. If we turn it over, uh, shoulder appellees, upper shoulder section, here we got this overcoat style belt with backing area here with button attachment, keep that centered and keeping it from sliding around too much. Cuffs. Just has this little reinforcement spot and a little button loop there for the liner sleeves, probably. Same here. Buckle, steel, and on this side. The belt is diagonal sewn end. So, quick summary. Check M85 unlined parka olive drab grade 2, but looks unissued to me. Very nice. Next up would be two of the British Desert DPM AP grenade pouches. And we also had the East German UTV combat belt. We also had German black rubber goggles, grade two. Also had military surplus French trouser belt grade one khaki extra large, and we start off, I believe, with the Czech Desert camel Molly pouch with map case, so internal one and a bonus one as well. So these all came from. Uh, Midway USA, feel free to check them out. They have a large variety of items. Midway USA, this has been another unboxing video. Feel free to check out other unboxing videos on the channel. We also do show and tell videos on vintage, no surf tools, and expanded topics. We also do a selection of book review, media reviews, and a series called Curios for the Curious videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.